Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, let's have a look at the 2016 question. It was uh, question three on paper one. Solve for x. Three times x minus seven plus five times x minus four is equal to 15. So solve, solve always means you're looking for whatever your variable x equals whatever your answer is. Okay, so brackets means multiply. So let's multiply what's in the bracket by that three. So that I have three by x is three x, three by minus seven, seven, 14, 21. I'm done with the three then once that bracket closes and I'm into plus five by everything in that second bracket. So plus five by x is plus five x, plus five by minus four is minus 20 equals 15. Okay, let's tidy up three x and five x is eight x, minus 21 minus 20 is minus 41 equals 15. Okay, I'd like to get to x is equal a number, so x is on one side, that's already done, they're already on the left. Let's bring my number over to the right. Okay, and when it travels over that equals to sign, it changes sign. Okay, or of course, you can plus 41 to both sides, whichever way you prefer thinking about that, it's, it's the same end result. So 41 and 15, 41, 51, 56, divide by the number, in front of x and you get eight sevens are 56. Okay, if I was to verify it, I would just replace all my x's with seven and you would see that you do indeed get uh, the left hand side equal to 15. Okay, part B then, solve the simultaneous equations or solve the equations below to find the value of A and B. When you have two unknowns, A and B, that is simultaneous equations, okay? And you tend to recognize them as one written over the other. The only problem with these two though, is that um, I would prefer the, the A's over the A's, the B's over the B's and the numbers over the numbers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that, that plus two B over there so that I'm this, let me call this equation one and this equation two. I'm not doing anything to equation one. I'm leaving him where he is. But equation two, I'm moving the 5a over to the left of it. I'm bringing the plus 2b over and it'll have to become minus 2b once it goes over the equals to sign is equal to 25. Okay, you always need the, the a's over the a's, the b's over the b's and the numbers over the numbers. Okay, so this is, is like the type you would have done in junior cert. I need to cancel one of the letters, either A or B. Of course, it doesn't matter which letter I cancel. You'll end up getting the same answers anyway. Um, I'm going to cancel the Bs in this case because, of course, I to cancel them, you cancel to zero. So I need one to be plus and one to be minus. So I can see these are already plus and minus. But again, no bother if you've cancelled the A's. It, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so three and six, or sorry, three and two, they, they're, they will, both of them divides into six. So how do I bring three B up to six? Well, I need to multiply that full top row by two. How do I bring minus two up to six? Well, I need to multiply it by three. And I can't just multiply one piece of an equation by three, for example, I have to do the whole equation by three and the whole of equation one by two. Okay, so let's multiply equation one by two. So two by four A is eight A, two by three B is six B is equal to minus three by two is minus six. Let's multiply equation two by three. So three fives, 15 A minus six B is equal to 25 by three is 75. Okay, and plus six minus six cancels to zero. 8 and 15 is 23 equals 75 minus 6 is 69. Divide by the number in front of the letter. 
So A is equal to three. Okay, not quite done. I have one of the letters, but I need to solve or find a value of A and B. So I need to sub A is equal to three into either equation. Okay, it doesn't matter which, which equation because that's what's special about simultaneous equations. The value you have for A and B solves both of them. So you're looking at the two equations and you're trying to see, well, which one looks better? Um, none of them looks great. So let's pick the top one. So instead of A, I now know that A is three because I solved it a second ago. So for threes are 12 plus three B is equal to minus three. Letters to one side, numbers to the other. So I'm getting three B is equal to minus 15, divide by the number in front of the letter. So B being equal to minus five. So A is three. B is minus five. And again, if it asked you to verify your solutions um, for simultaneous equations, you take each, you take each solution. I'll just show you what I would do here. I would half my, my boxes um, and I would put my first equation here, which is 4a plus 3b is equal to minus 3. 5a is equal to 25 plus 2b. And I would sub in. So instead of a, I would put 3. Instead of B, you put minus five and you're seeing is the left hand side equal the right? Is the left hand side also minus three? So for threes are 12, uh, minus five by three is minus 15. So minus three is indeed equal to minus three. But in simultaneous equations, it is not enough just to show it for one equation. You have to show it working for both, okay, uh, because that's the nature of simultaneous equations. The solutions work in both of them, okay. So if you're asked to verify, um, just like we were when we did the 2014 question, we had to verify our answers, okay. If you're asked to verify your answers, that is what you have to do. Do it to both. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our Level 7 in Electronic and Computer Engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress onto the Level 8 in Electronics and Self-Driving Technologies and from there to the Masters. Check out the link below for more information.